What is up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Comedia back with another Dokkan battle video. So if you guys had any doubts about whether or not I was hyped for the four year anniversary, I don't think you have to look any further than this right here. And honestly, I'm still trying to figure out exactly how or why I ended up rainbowing this unit. And that's not to say he's a bad unit by any means. He's actually very good. He's actually worth the orbs. But when I first started this process, I was just thinking maybe I should give him the free potential orbs or the free dupe paths because I might eventually use him in like a video or a stream or something like that. But then I thought if I'm gonna use him, I might as well give him some crits and additional. So that's why I opened the bottom right path. But then I was like, I want him to have the highest possible crit and additional levels he can have. Then that's why I opened the top left path. And then at that point, I was like, yo, you know what? We already committed so many orbs. We already came so far. F it. We're going for the full rainbow. So now that we rainbowed him, we gotta do a showcase. And that's why this video exists. So today, guys, we are gonna do a showcase of the free to play physical Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And by the way, as a quick aside before we get started, um, I already have a rough idea of what I'm gonna name this video. And if it ends up being exactly what I think it's gonna be, then it's obviously, obviously a joke. So try not to take it too seriously. Let's jump into it, guys. And the team we're bringing for this showcase is the uh, Goku's family slash siblings bond hybrid team led by the LR Gohan and Goten. And we also have this full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku as the best linking partner for the free to play Goku. And the rest of the team is pretty much just some support. And the event is Boss Rush Stage 7, the new Boss Rush for Global. And that's it guys, let's jump in, here we go. Now while we're doing this, I'm also gonna give you guys a breakdown of exactly what this Goku can do for his leader skill, his passive, his super attack, and all that good stuff. And it looks like we actually got both Gokus in the first rotation, which is very rare for me on these showcases, so I'm very happy about that. Here we go guys, we got the optimal rotation set up right now. And let's just give him these orbs, doesn't really matter. I'll give this Goku these, and Goten can take these ones. Okay, so let's start from the very top here. His leader skill for the physical Super Saiyan 4 Goku is Pure Saiyan's key plus 4, HP, attack, and defense plus 44%. And we did about, what, almost 800,000 damage there? Not too bad. Not too bad. All right. Fair warning, by the way. <laughs> All these stats I'm about to give you, there's going to be a lot of 4s in the numbers and uh it's just the thing that banda likes to do they like to play around with their numbers um i can't explain it but just telling you right now there's gonna be a lot of fours all right so pure saiyans keep left keep plus four hp attack and defense plus 44 percent super attack is 10 times kamehameha i'm surprised they didn't just like go ahead and say like four times kamehameha or something but anyways 10 times kamehameha supreme damage and raises attack for you guessed it four turns and also we got his passive which is attack and defense plus 44 percent plus an additional attack plus 44 percent when attacking and he also gives pure saiyans category allies which includes himself defense plus 44 percent so once again a ton of fours right there but one interesting thing to note about this passive is that the numbers are actually calculated separately so that additional 44 percent attack he gets when he's attacking is calculated separately from the initial 44 44 percent so once you do the calculations it actually works out to a total attack boost of 107.36 percent which is actually quite impressive especially considering he is a free-to-play unit he's a unit that everybody can rainbow eventually because we get a total of what 14 14 or 15 copies from the logins as well as the missions after you do all of them and basically yeah like i said a free rainbow free sa10 for everybody and uh, having 107.36 percent attack on his passive is very very good and the same thing actually applies to his defense too because think about it he gets 44 percent on his defense and he also gets an additional 44 percent from the second part of his like support passive so Overall, you can almost read his passive as attack and defense plus 107.36%. And on top of that, he also gives pure Saiyan allies 44% defense and makes the entire rotation more tanky. So he's great. <laughs> he's actually really great. And when, when I first rainbowed this unit, I was thinking like, 
Yo, did I just make a mistake? Did I, you know, really waste that many physical orbs for this unit that might not be that good? But once I did my research, once I actually played around with him and tested him out on various events, I found out he was actually totally worth it. He was actually amazing for a unit that they give us for free. And uh, I'm happy about it, man. I, I don't regret it at all. Am I trying to convince myself that I made the right choice? Maybe a little bit, but I'm being serious at the same time. Like, I, I genuinely believe it was a good choice to rainbow this uh, free-to-play Goku. And if you guys... I mean, here's the thing. He is very good, but he has the same name as the... Uh, STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and the AGL LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku that's going to be dropping soon, so... If you guys have either of those, then it probably doesn't make a lot of sense to... You might want to second, you know, think twice about rainbowing this guy or giving this guy orbs because you're not going to ever be running this guy over those guys. He's obviously not as good as the STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. He's obviously not as good as the upcoming LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. But if you don't have either of those guys, you know, let's say you get shafted for some reason, or like, something happened, I don't really, I don't want to wish ill upon anybody, but it, it could happen, right? Let's say you get shafted, you don't pull either of the other Super Saiyan 4 Gokus, hope it doesn't happen once again, but let's say that happens, then um, you can use this guy as a nice replacement on the categories he's on, which are Pure Saiyans and Goku's family, and also, um, you know, he's good on Super Physical as well, Super Fizz, so those teams you can use him on, and He's good. He's very, very good. Uh, his links. One last thing is his links. Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, GT, Prepare for Battle, and Saiyan Roar. And for a free... Oh, are we gonna die? Oh, wow, we almost died. <laughs> Man, I gotta pay attention more on these showcases. Alright, let's actually... Um, hmm. Well, we should heal up for sure, so let's use the Senzu Bean here. And should I actually pop this active skill, I'm thinking? Should I do... Actually... Oh crap, I can't use it anymore. Uh, I, for I forgot, you have to be below 59% HP to use it. Well, you know what? The choice was made for us then. Um, I, I, was, I was talking about his links, right? His links are actually really solid for a free-to-play unit because Super Saiyan is a great attack link that's shared by a lot of summonable units. Um, GT is good for linking with super full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but there's also Prepare for Battle, which is a very common uh, key link. There's Saiyan Roar, which is fantastic for this situation because it's a 25% attack link that he shares with the full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and I'm glad they kept that for this Super Saiyan 4 Goku as well. And um, yeah, just good links overall. I mean, would I have liked Fierce Battle? Sure, but I think that's asking for too much. Would I have liked um, maybe... Uh, I guess that's it. He's just missing Fierce Battle, and that would be an amazing link set. But he's a, he has a good link set regardless. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know about the unit, guys. There's the leader skill, the passive, and all that stuff. And I, I've already said, I'm quite impressed by what he can do. Um, so far, I don't think we've seen a crit from him yet, which is kind of weird, considering he has a 30% chance to crit on his passive with the hidden potential. Oh, I went with 15 crit and 11 additional for anybody that's curious. And uh, we haven't seen that yet. But we did take that normal attack from the Vegito for pretty, pretty low damage. What was it, like 50 something like that? I didn't pay attention, but I saw two digits. So it was under 100 for sure. So we got both tanking and de decent damage output. And it actually is very fitting that he was the one that finished off the LR Vegito. I like that. Um, but yeah, I like the unit a lot. I like the unit a lot. And uh, you guys, if, if you're on the fence, I mean, let it varies obviously depending on what your situation is like if you are newer and you have a lot of units you need to boost um, in a hit of potential or um, you know if you are newer then maybe it doesn't make a lot of sense or but if you guys you know have a lot of orbs to spare like a ton of physical orbs and you already got most of your physical units done then he could be a good candidate for your orbs it's your choice at the end of the day but I uh, use this video obviously as a reference for whether or not you want to do that and that's kind of the purpose of these showcases, right? To show you guys whether or not you personally should use your orbs for these units, whether or not it's worth it. And if it's not worth it, then at the very least, you're not the one spending uh, the orbs, right? You can see me waste my orbs and uh, decide for yourself, oh, maybe it's not a good idea to use my orbs. Alright, so I purposely actually put him in front of all those STR attacks. I want to see how much damage he's taking, and so far I'm not upset. That's actually not a bad number to take, not a bad amount of damage to tank for. 10k from type disadvantage is not terrible. Okay, we're taking 100k, okay. 
Well, that 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 was kind of bad, but <laughs> for the normal attacks, 10k, that's okay. His defense is good. He's not an amazing tank. I never claimed that he was. So uh, don't try to bring him onto like super battle road and think he's gonna tank good for you because that's not really his job. Um, he tanks okay. He does pretty solid damage for a free to play unit and. Um, that's as much you can, as you can really expect from him. Alright, there we go. Now we can use the active skill. Let's do it. I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit. Here we go, guys. And enjoy. So good. I love it. I love it. Yeah, so I don't get to see that a lot. So every time I... Can uh, activate their active skill, I, I go for it. Like, I just gotta do it. I know we're not showcasing the Gohan and Goten, I already did that in the past, but I gotta do it, guys. Come on. Um, I'm, I, I would use a Ghost Usher because, of course, he does want it KO, but I don't think you have to worry about that because I think we got it covered with this Gohan and Goten, so we're just gonna leave it. Should be fine. He's probably. There you go, he's dead. Okay, perfect. Um, I'm not gonna lie, by the way. <laughs> You guys really want to know um i mean nobody's asking but i'm gonna tell you right now uh i actually this is my second time recording this video because the first time i recorded this i totally forgot i totally totally forgot that um this that goku form the str goku form actually when it kills you so i uh just got killed like i just died in that stage and i was like you know what i don't i don't feel like putting this up i don't feel like I mean, I fail up, um, you know, on the video forever on my channel. So I restarted, and now we're here. So, but you got, you guys know, I want to be transparent with you. So, I'm telling you right now, I re-recorded this video just because I forgot that the UI Goku actually wanted KOs. And now we're gonna enjoy this um, Dokkan attack, and we did 1.3 mil damage. Not bad, not bad, Goku. Not bad, free to play Goku. Of course, I expect a lot from this Tech Goku. He's summonable. He's a category lead. But uh, the free-to-play Goku doing 1.3 mil with the Dokkan attack, that's pretty good with me. That's pretty good with me. Oh, one other thing I want to mention. Um, I, I knew I, I needed one. I... Damn it. <laughs> this is what happens, man. This is what happens when you record videos and you're trying to talk at the same time. Um... <laughs> Whoa, so it looks like somehow my game glitched and I'm now on the end kid Goku Tokan event. Not sure how that happened, but you know what? We're just gonna go with it and uh, pretend the thing you guys just saw didn't happen. Nothing happened, nothing happened. We just somehow randomly got taken to the end kid Goku Tokan event and we're just gonna accept that as, as fact, okay? Um, going back to what I was saying before all that craziness happened, uh, the LR Super Saiyan Force, if you guys are watching this video right now on the day that it comes out, which is uh, July 8th, then those units, those banners actually drop on Global tonight at 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which if you do the conversion to Eastern Standard Time is 2 a.m. tomorrow morning. And that's what I go by, so I will be actually personally streaming my summons at that time in the middle of the night. So if you guys are interested in watching those summons live, then tune in at that time, 2 a.m., maybe 2.30. It's 2, 2 or 2.30, one of those times. But um, when I confirm exactly when it is, I will be live and uh, you guys can see that. But last night on my stream, uh, so many people were asking me, yo, Tiger, when is, when is the banner coming out? When are the banners coming out? And I was just like, I can't say for sure, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time uh tomorrow but at the same time people want me to give them specific times and i can't because there are just so many people that watch these videos around the world and um i can't give everybody a universal time i wish there was some kind of universal time i could just say uh that would cover everybody but it doesn't work like that you know what i'm saying so uh if you live in asia obviously it's gonna be a different time than if you live in europe it then if you live in north america and so on and so forth but uh, if you want to do the conversion yourself, just go ahead and type in 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time into Google. Um, and it should give you different options for like the conversion to various other time zones. All right. So uh, if you want to buy out, you know what? That makes no sense because you're going to be watching at different times. I was going to say like a specific like number of hours, but you could be watching this maybe an hour before the banners come out. You could be watching this maybe two hours, 
five hours, so that's hard to say too. I'm not gonna get into that. All I'm gonna say is it's coming out tonight or possibly tomorrow morning, and uh, I'm super excited. I can't wait to do the summons. Fingers crossed. No shafts, please. I can't go through two major celebrations and get shafted for both of them. I, my, I just couldn't take it, man. I would just delete my account at that point because <laughs> it's, it's just not cool. It's just not cool. Um, the, the last celebration that happened to me on, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you remember, was the Gogeta and Broly. And I spent, I think, around in total 1,500 stones on both banners, like combined. And I did not get a single copy of Gogeta or Broly. I did get three Paraguses, which... I, I I really can't be happy about. I know he's good, but I just can't. One million, nice. Oh, and a, and an additional. Yo, crit? Ah, no crit. But yo, almost two million damage right there. We're gonna get supered by the Goku. Uh, I'm gonna guess 30k. 30. Wow, I was on point. Okay, so 30ish k. Um, but yeah, I just <laughs> I can't deal with that shaft and then getting shafted again on the Super Saiyan fours for the four year anniversary. So. Please, Dokkan Gods, if you're out there, Bandai, if you're listening, just bless your boy this one time. All right, let me get these LR Super Saiyan 4s out of the way, and uh, just let me be happy, man. Just let me be happy. I'm just kidding. It's, it's not that serious. It's not that serious. It's just a game, but uh, it'd be nice. It'd be really, really nice to not be shafted again. All right, so um, best of luck to me, and best of luck to you guys too. I wish you guys the best of luck in your summons. I don't like anybody getting shafted, so um, hopefully you guys get blessed. If you're watching this video after the video, the banners have already come out, uh, maybe you know tomorrow or in a couple days or maybe in a couple months, I guess it doesn't really matter. Whenever you're watching this video after the banners came out, let me know in the comments down below if you guys pulled fire or got shafted, just whatever results you got. I know there's always going to be a balance of the two, right? There's never a situation where everybody pulls fire or everybody gets shafted. There's always people that get blessed, always people that get shafted, and um, there's always balance in the world, right? Perfectly balanced, <laughs> as all things should be. Um, but yeah, I mean, just let me know. I'm curious. I, I don't want to just see people pull fire, because I know that's not how it works. I don't want to just see people flexing, even though it's okay, I don't mind the flex. Um, I also want to see people that got shafted, and if you guys need to you know, vent your frustrations, this is the place to do it. This is a safe space, and uh, nobody will judge you for it, alright? But anyways guys, that's going to be showcase. That's going to be the showcase for this rainbow, uh, physical, free to play, full, not full power, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I'm getting confused now with all these different Gokus. Free to play physical Super Saiyan 4 Goku, like I said, I think he's very good, I think he's very much worth the orbs, I don't regret my investment, even though I'm probably not going to be running him much except for on like a super physical team or something like that, because I do have the STR1 Rainbow, even at free dupe level the STR1 is still better, um, and hopefully once I get the LR1 I'll be running that one most of the time, but I still don't regret it, I, I still think he's a great unit and I was happy I could do the showcase. And I think the art is pretty cool too. I mean, look at him with the, the smug, you know, smile on his face, holding the Dragon Ball with all the other balls around him. This balls everywhere. Great, great design. I enjoy it. All right, so that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this unit and uh, whether or not you plan to personally rainbow yours. And, of course, lots of great Dokkan content on the way, especially for the four-year anniversary. In fact, later today, I plan to do a stream for the Ins Goku Jr. Extreme Z Battle event, and then later tonight, I'm going to be summoning for the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. So stay tuned for all of that, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the showcase. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's all I got to say, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. I will see you very, very soon. Have an awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.